Hey guys, my name is Ryan and welcome to Overwatch Central. So this video is probably another video about Myra to be fair, but there is something really core that I want to talk about that involves a lot of heroes as well. And it does talk about how this new hero is going to affect the meta and also talk about some of Blizzard's concerns. Now, most of the time we tend to find sort of Reddit articles or something where a dev mentions something in particular, but this time this is completely exclusive. So at BlizzCon, I had the opportunity to talk to Aaron Keller and Hackley, who are both involved in creating heroes. In Overwatch, Aaron Keller is the assistant game director, but Hackley is more of a technical artist that made a lot of stuff with Myra. Now, over the weekend or on Monday, we will be putting that interview sort of out, just cherry picking some of the really cool things that they said in that interview. But there was one interesting thing that they said about Myra, but also to do with Mercy and Roadhog, and it was to do with the sustain that a lot of these heroes had. What I mean by that is, well, Roadhog in his recent iteration has been deemed as this unkillable monster that really doesn't go down very easily with the amount of damage that he can mitigate whilst he's healing, but also the self-healing that he can do on a fairly low cooldown. Because of this, it takes a lot of resources to take Roadhog out of the fight, but when you pair this with a Mercy that has Resurrect every 30 seconds, can output a lot of soul healing, and also can Resurrect more when she's ulting, meant that a lot of stuff just didn't die in the game for a short time. This quote came about when I asked her to play Myra, and Aaron Keller really highlighted the fact that she can put out a lot of healing, and she can be this really self-sustaining monster. But this is what he said that really piqued my interest. If you're doing it right, she um, has an incredibly high um, survivability. Yeah. Um, and the funny thing is, is after we release her, that's the thing. Um, Goodman's our lead hero designer. That's the thing he is looking at the most is, is she too survivable? Yeah. You know, like, um, and so um, if you're playing her right, I think you can really sustain yourself. And then that kind yeah, of Yeah, because that's become a much bigger alive. aspect of the game as of late, certainly like with the way that Mercy's Res works now, but more particularly Roadhog, just like mm -hmm. the undying that yeah. I guess when you're looking at something like that, sustainability can become like a really big problem and then that's something yes, becomes like... Yes, it can. As we were talking about survivability, that is what um, was one of the big reasons why we started changing the most recent iteration mm -hmm. of Mercy is that her ability to get that res off every 30 seconds and do it um, without, um, or with very little risk to mm -hmm. herself could just keep some of those team fights going, especially with the Mercy on each side, and then the Valkyrie coming in a little bit later. It was just nonstop, and by the end of a match, or halfway into it, you would just feel exhausted yeah, no. from it. And so I think we actually had pushed the game too far in, in that direction, yeah. where it, it, people were just up too much. Now this provoked a very interesting question. Was Mercy changed to this Valkyrie version because of Myra? And also on that subject, was Roadhog changed way back when because of the addition of Doomfist? It was completely separate when we release a hero, like we're trying to put them out the gate as balanced as they possibly can be. I know sometimes like um, the community thinks that we might be pulling other heroes back or, yeah. or releasing a hero more powerful <laughs> in order to make it more popular. That was a thing with, with um, Roadhog as well with Doomfist where it was just the timing and I think a lot of people yeah, it were doesn't, like, have anything to do with that and mercy is the same way and um so no doubt on the PTR now and when Myra goes on to the live service and into competitive, Jeff Goodman is going to be really looking at how long Myra can survive in team fights and how long she's alive a lot of the time. One of the main things with Myra is that she can just not die a lot of the time unless she's focused down. And this certainly could be a really big problem with the range of her right click, which is pretty big, and the amount of self-sustain that she has with her ultimate when she's using orbs and also the healing that she gets back from right click. Unless this is completely negated by an Anna's Biotic Grenade, there's very little you can do to actually shut this down. But just imagine pairing Myra on a team with a Roadhog and an older version of Mercy. Then you can start to see where we might have had some huge problems with a recent iteration of a meta. This is why I think the changes on the PTR for Mercy are fairly cruel. It certainly might highlight the fact that Blizzard are really concerned that if Moira went into the game, when you have a hero like Roadhog in it as well, and Mercy's sort of self-sustain, the amount of healing that she could put out and the resurrect as well, would mean that there would be huge problems that could cause the likes of triple tank returning, but also just having this huge sustain meta where nothing dies. And you could have seen a triple tank meta with Moira and Mercy as the healers with resurrect coming out of pretty much every situation and a lot of self-sustained healing that your team can put out. Talking about triple tanks from last year is always a pretty interesting reaction, I suppose. I didn't hate it as much as a lot of people seem to, but there are some people that are sort of wanting to see it back. 
We mentioned it briefly in the video that we did about Anna being indirectly buffed by a lot of the stuff that's happening in the game currently. And we had a few comments saying that they would appreciate that, that they would like the sort of slow moving style of play. Apart from Mercy, I'd say that viability is the best that it's ever been in Overwatch. You can play dive, you can play triple tank. There's a lot of use to get out of all of these situations. And when it comes to the hero pool, every hero is somewhat viable in the game. Now, the reason why I didn't mention Mercy is because she's still been changed around a lot and it's hard to say whether she's going to be a must pick like she has been recently or whether she's going to be you know completely useless with the changes on the ptr i do think that the changes to mercy are somewhat harsh it feels like another one of those cases where she's slowed down when she's trying to res or she has a bit of a sort of wind up time before she actually does it i kind of feel it's one or the other again res is a really high impact ability that really had no risk to doing it you just fly in res them and then come back out and a lot of the time it'd fare off pretty well but regardless of whether you play a lot of mercy or not you've got to admit that it's had a huge effect on how the game plays with mercy going from a hero that was picked up now and again for the pharmacy combo to pretty much all the time in fact it was one of the major reasons why the uk struggles so much is because they didn't practice in a mercy matter whilst teams like the usa really worked well with it they knew what they wanted to do and how to really make the strategy work and whilst i'm not using this as an excuse it's the UK's fault for not practicing this kind of thing. When Moira is added into the game, it will no doubt be added in with some changes to Mercy. And I just hope that you don't have this golden age of healing where you have a Zen, Anna, Moira, Lucio all being viable, but Mercy becomes a bit of a troll pick. Or you have the flip side of that where Mercy is still pretty much in control of the game and having the two scenarios of Moira being the must pick support that goes along with her with the amount of healing that she can also put out. Or the fact that you don't get to see this new hero in action simply because she's considered a troll pick isn't good enough. And you essentially have this sort of popularity contest against all of the spots. Ideally, all five of these heroes are just as viable as one another, but of course that will change going up against certain compositions with your own team compositions, but also what maps you're playing on. And ideally, that's the situation that you want to be in when you're playing these heroes. But I really did want to highlight what we heard from Aaron Keller there, that they're really sort of concerned almost of having this sort of high sustain meta on the horizon, especially with Moira. And because of that, I think we are going to see a lot more changes to Moira before she hits the live servers. Some nerfs here and there just tinkering and bringing her down a little bit, but also some further changes to Mercy just to get her into a balanced situation. It seems to me that Blizzard really want to keep Mercy's idea of a character fairly similar but they want to make sure that the Resurrect is a hard ability to pull off and can't be just used willy nilly. And that's it for this time, thank you very much for watching. First and foremost I hope some of you guys don't think that I'm hated on Mercy. I do think these changes on the PTR are a bit harsh, it's going to put her in a really difficult situation but it certainly looks like Blizzard are concerned that having a really strong version of Mercy in the game with both Moira and a tank like Roadhog that just doesn't die may cause problems with bringing back triple tank and cause this sort of self-sustained meta where nothing dies. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, take care. We'll see you then.